Whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. In its day-to-day job of enforcing the law, the Highway Patrol encounters every type of crime and criminal. Some clever, some very ordinary. Sometimes it's the most ordinary crime that becomes the most difficult to solve. One such crime took place on the morning of August 18th at a factory 25 miles outside the city. Let anybody try to be a hero. It's only money. Just a moment, please. Mr. Matthews, you'd better take this call. Thanks. Mr. Matthews. What's that? Ross Industries. Description of the car. Green panel truck, no signs. How many men? All right, thanks very much. Well, you can get to town, it's on 60. Set of a roadblock, Hartford on three corners. Every available unit out there. I'm going to the factory. Yes, the guard? He died on the way to the hospital. What about that one over there? His name's Al Morris. He's got a record. Who was your friend, Al? Gene. I don't know his last name. Where was he going? Who was he going to meet? I don't know. He handled the whole thing. I was just along for the ride. Yeah, I'll bet. Who was here beside the guard? A woman, assistant to the paymaster, but she got pretty hysterical. Couldn't give much of a description of the other guy. Tell me what you got. Uh, she said he was an ordinary looking man, about 30, 5'10 to 5'11, brown hair. Oh, uh, one other thing. Yeah, what? He had a dark denim jacket on. He ripped the right sleeve as he grabbed the satchel. Well, at least we got a description of the getaway car. Let's see how the roadblocks are making up. Here. That was his whistle. I know. I heard. Get the trap door open. Get inside. Uh, 
Yeah. You know, it went off like a dream. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about it later. Get down in the basement. You keep watch. Make sure that thing's back in place. Okay. Headquarters to 2150. 2150 by. Panel truck answering description of getaway car located on Old Farm Road, two miles west of Sunview. Car deserted. I'll be right there. 10 4? 10 4. You know where that is? Yeah. Hop in. $37,000. That's your share. Come on, better than we expected, huh? Too bad about Al. There wasn't anything else I could do. I'm not worried about Al. He won't talk. He knows he'll get his cut. There's nothing to worry about. What about the guard you shot? We heard over the radio he's dead. The sap had to go play hero. What else could I do? You didn't have to kill him. You knew what my orders were. Look, Flo, you got no kick coming. I took all the risk and you and Ben end up with half the money. What do you mean, no risk? I planned this whole thing and I'm supplying the hideout. If you get caught, Ben and I go to jail right with you. I told you, I'm not going to get caught. Yeah, I guess you're safe enough here. Take it easy, I'll be back down after a while. We'll be getting some of the highway patrol here after a while to ask questions. You can hear them through this air vent. Just keep quiet and don't smoke because some of the smoke may come up through the floorboards. Anything from DMV yet? No, they're still waiting for the report. Climb in, see if it starts. Motor's okay. Plenty of gas. He didn't have to abandon it. Call a lab. I want to call a lab. No tire tracks at all. We couldn't have been picked up. Let me see that map of yours. I see. Uh, that's where we are. You see the heavy brush starts back there. Goes over the mountains about five or six miles. Anything else back in there? No, uh, nothing. Anyhow, I couldn't get through there without leaving a track. Couldn't miss it. What about over in here? Oh, there's some tourist cabins, grocery, little diner down on the highway. I oh, will check those. Have the search party check the brush in here. We'll keep in touch with you. Hop in. I don't like the idea, Flo. It's the way it's got to be. He's too dangerous. Why don't we just get him out of here by tonight? Keep your voice down. The patrol will be out in full force tonight. Figuring he's hiding in the woods waiting for Doc to make his break. Yeah, yeah, but this, this way... This is the alternate plan in case we needed it, Ben. He's too hot. The longer we keep him down there, the more danger it is for us. But he's got a gun. Headquarters to 2150. 2150 by. 1029 report on getaway panel truck. Stolen 200 miles north. Two days ago. Reported to police at time of theft. Owner cleared. 10-4. 10-4. Too bad I tried to be a stolen car. I was hoping we get a break. Yeah, no trace of the guy, no description. We got a lot of work in front of us. Who owns this place? Flo and Ben Durfee. You've been here about two years. What do you know about them? They seem like nice folks. Never been any trouble I know of. Go on in the kitchen and open that air vent all the way. Hello, Clay. Flo? We heard about the uh, factory holdup on the radio. Any word on the guy that got away? We're checking. 
This is Mr. Matthews of the patrol, Flo Durfee. How do you do? How are you? Tell me, anybody been here in the past couple of hours? Yeah. There's a young couple, but they've been in here before. They go camping two or three times a year. And a truck driver named Scotty makes this run twice a week. Any strangers been in there? No. It's kind of slow here on weekdays. Where's Ben? In the kitchen. Ben? Hi, Clay. Ben? Ben, this is Mr. Matthews of the Highway Patrol. They're looking for that guy that pulled the factory holder. I haven't seen anybody. I I've been keeping watch since we heard about it. Is there any place around here you could hide without your knowing it? Not very well. There's only the kitchen and our rooms in the back. Would you like to take a look around? I sure would. Come on. Thanks. You take a look down there. Hard to hide around here. Headquarters to 2150. Headquarters, 2150. Headquarters to 2150. 2150 by. Searching party at sight of getaway car reports. No sign of trail leading through thicket. Have them call off search at that spot. Stand by. On that road, what's the nearest motel coming from that direction? That direction, Walkers. Walkers, thanks. Have them check Walkers Motel. We'll start from this end and meet him. 10-4. It went off all right. They'll be back. Once they've checked out the other spots, they'll be back here with a fine-tooth comb. And I am going to have Gene all ready for him. I still wish we didn't have to kill him. Self-defense, Ben. We're going to be heroes. Who knows? We may even get a reward. Patrol, after a thorough check of all possible hideouts in a 10-mile radius from the point of the getaway car, failed to turn up a single clue. 2150 to all units. We've checked the last possible hideout in this area. Nothing. Close in from three corners in Hartville. Check every place where you think a man could hide. Now, we're looking for a killer. Use caution. 10-4? 10-4. He had a pretty tight net spread for him. I don't see how we missed him. Well, there's three ways. One, he's hiding with somebody who's cooperating. Two, he could be hiding in the brush waiting for dark. Three, somebody picked him up where he ditched his car. Well, we checked that area. Couldn't see a sign of another car. Let's check it again. Thought you might be hungry. Yeah, thanks. I heard those guys in the patrol. You handled them fine. I told you there was nothing to worry about. That's all right, Gene. We got nothing to worry about at all. All clear, Ben? Yeah. Okay. Here. Leave that open. Why don't we just keep him down there? Oh, Ben, use your head. Why would a guy ditch a usable car and take off? Maybe a hideout within walking distance. And if the cops are after you, walking distance would be well, within a mile. 
Here's his gun. All right, get his share of the money. Better they don't find anything on him. Hide it with the rest. What was that for? We've got to prove self-defense. He came in here. You were in the front. He heard me in the kitchen and fired a shot. I shot back and got him. Okay. Drag him over here a little bit. All right, now. Put this in his hand. Be careful you don't touch it. What's within a mile of here? Let's see. Durfee's diner. Pineway Garage, and the grocery store. Try him again. All right, now. I shot him. And I put the gun over here. No. There, that's better. A woman would do that. She'd drop it on the floor after she realized what she'd done. Okay, Ben, give me a dime. Maybe you better wait a little, Flo. Look, I, I can't stop shaking. That's good, honey. That's the way law-abiding citizens are supposed to act after they've been forced to kill a criminal. Give me the highway patrol, please. Hello, is this a patrol? Th this is Flo Durfee at Durfee's Diner. Well, something terrible's happened here. You know the man you're looking for? We came in here and I shot him. Please send somebody over. Attention, all units. Attention, all units. Report from Durfee's Diner. Man believed to be Ross Industries' hold-up suspect. Broke in, reported shot. 2150 to headquarters. I'll cover call and report. Where are they? Relax. Same caliber gun that killed the guard. This could be our man. Name's Gene Rogers. Description fits. Sure does. Right down to the rip on the sleeve. Have any money on him? Just a couple of bucks in the wallet. Could have stashed that payroll someplace else. But call the coroner. Right. Mrs. Durfee. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I was in the kitchen and someone came through the front door and Ben was standing the counter. I heard a voice say, raise your hands and don't make a sound. So I started to come through the kitchen door and he shot at me. I grabbed our gun and I came out here and I saw that man standing there with a gun and I shot him. But I didn't mean to kill him. Coyer's on the way. Thanks. Anything you can add to your wife's story? Uh, I don't know. It, it, it all happened so fast. He came in the front door, is that right? Yes, sir. Was his gun drawn? Well, like Flo said, he said, raise your hands. Then he saw the kitchen door start to open. That was when he shot. Mm -hmm.
This your gun? Yes, sir. I've had it all these years for protection, but that's the first time I ever had to use it. He fired from over there, is that right? You were awful lucky. All I know is I killed a man and I'll never forget it to my dying day. Oh, wait a minute. There's a difference between killing and self-defense. This looks like the guy we want. If he checks out, well, there's a reward for you people. We don't want a reward. Can I talk to you for a second? Yes, yeah, sure. Excuse me. Something went wrong. Shut up. Look, something doesn't make sense. Maybe the lab boys will have the answer, but I don't get it. What are you talking about? Well, the bullet that she fired went clear through the body. There's no trace of it. You sure? I checked every inch of the wall back on where he was standing. No sign of a bullet hole. A 38 slug leaves a pretty good mark. It sure does. Well, it could be a ricochet. Let's look around for a mark. You start over there, I'll work it. Anything wrong, Mr. Matthews? No, it's just routine. Oh, uh... Do me a favor, will you? Yeah. Show me where you were standing when you fired the gun. This is where the man was standing? Yeah. Only maybe forward a little, uh, closer to the counter. Yeah, yeah, just about there. About here. And what did you do? I came out here and I shot him. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks. Let's take a look outside, see if we can figure which way he came from. I tell you, they found out something. They couldn't have. I've thought of everything. Yeah? Then what were they checking the walls for? They're looking for something. That's what they're looking for, yeah. They can't find the bullet that killed him. Go get the other gun and the money. Hurry up. What do you think? The way it looks, he wasn't killed in there. Why would he give us that story? Unless they were tied in with him. Mrs. Durfee. Sit down, both of you. Now, wait Put a minute. Put your hands on the counter. Now, shut up and do as I say. All right, Ben. Get the guns. All right, get the trap door. Okay, Flo. All right, gentlemen, down the basement. Come on. Hurry up. Go down in there. Go ahead. No! Flo! Wait! Car. Okay, we'll be inside. Flo, I told you it was too risky. All she ever cared about was money. What woman doesn't? See Highway Patrol again next week. Until then, remember, it isn't what you drive, but how you drive that counts. This is Roderick Crawford saying, see you next week.